Today, I'm talking about the three questions that I always get asked in the first lesson of a student. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jorgelina. I'm a vocal coach based in Auckland, New Zealand, and I teach online as well. So as I said, today I'm going to talk about the three questions that I always get asked every time that a person comes to my lessons for the first time, so complete beginners. Usually people that like to sing and that have some difficulty singing their favorite songs. So the three questions are, how long does it take to sing beautifully? How long do I have to practice for? And can anyone learn singing? So let's talk about each one of them. The first one, how long does it take to learn to sing beautifully? I do get asked this a lot. And this is one of the most complex questions to answer because first we do have to define what does singing beautifully means. And that means something different for everybody. If your idea of singing beautifully is, for example, uh, Billie Eilish, that is very, very different than Dimash singing beautifully. One is not worse or better than the other, but you have to define what does singing beautifully means to you. Sometimes, most of the time, I ask them, so what does singing beautifully means to you? And they just tell me, oh, she's, she's beautifully. No. I recommend if you want to make the most of your lessons, you have to have an idea, like just with your own words, what does singing beautifully means to you, it's not the same singing opera beautifully than singing country music beautifully. And this is important to understand. People tell me beautifully, like, like if beautifully was an objective concept. And it's not. The concept of beauty is absolutely subjective. I know a lot of people argue with this, but it really is subjective. I mean, if I say that this world, for example, is beautiful and you say that it's not, then who is right? Well, no one. I am right and you're right. This is beautiful to me. Well, not really, it's a little bit... I wish it was, it was red, actually, but it is what, what was available. There are two parts to that question. Number one, what does singing beautifully means to you? Define that, and then we can talk about how long does it take to get there. And like that is also going to be another universe of an answer because and I know everybody hates this, but it really depends on you. It depends on your history, the music training that you have had before, your limiting beliefs, how have you worked with your body historically, how have you worked with your voice, how do you work with your voice normally, how do you speak, what is your natural range, you come to a weekly training, you have clear goals and you practice every day. I've seen people singing really, really well and a year sometimes, sometimes in like eight months. How much do you practice? Like it's, it depends on so, so many things. A lot of people at the beginning, they just think that coming to a, to a few singing lessons will just unlock their Christina Aguilera voice. It doesn't work like that. I know that there are a lot of methods and people that promise that you are gonna be singing like a pro in like 20 days, 30 days, um, two months or whatever. It's not true. <laughs> Sorry to bring it uh, to you, but it's not true. I mean, all the singers that you see that are amazing at singing, they have all been singing for years. And that shouldn't be a problem. What's the rush? The truth is that if you have a good method and you practice, you are going to get better every day. And once you get to know your voice a bit, then we can put some goals that have time frames. But the best advice I can give to you as a beginner is don't worry about the timing. Because usually when people come and they want to sing great right now, they usually are the ones that take the longest to learn. In my experience, that's not the right mindset for singing. So it, it does take being in the present um, identifying your current condition and identifying some realistic Goals. I know it's a little bit unpopular to say you're not going to be singing like Christina Aguilera in one month, but the truth is you just can't develop a, a muscle like that. So the best thing you can do is if you want to accelerate your singing progress is to be there for the long haul. I feel as you about becoming a singer, this is kind of a lifelong process. A lot of people think that learning to sing is just getting a few tips and that's it. And then you never have to do exercises again. No, for as long as you are a singer, you are going to be training your voice with a teacher, without a teacher, by yourself. Vocal training is something you do. It's like being an athlete. Athletes don't just do a few warm ups the first year and then they just for the rest of their lives just go straight to whatever they do. They do have to warm up. 
every day. And singing is not different. So that is the first question. Now the second question is, how long do I have to practice per day? All right, this one is a little bit easier to answer. It also depends on everyone, especially at the beginning, like at, right at the beginning of your training is when the differences are, are bigger from, from person to person. But there are some guidelines. So for example, if you are a complete beginner, you don't want to sing for more than 45 minutes a session. And there are reasons for that that has to do with the kind of muscle that you are dealing with, the kind of fibers that you are dealing with. A lot of people at the beginning, they come to me and they say, I want a challenge. Well, at the beginning of your training, just setting up your body to sing, it's enough challenge. <laughs> your goal shouldn't be forcing your muscle to work more like that should not be the goal at the beginning later on when you already have a good technique and you have to train for a two-hour show then yes we are going to work on resistance and absolutely that's called high performance singing training but at the beginning not the goal at the beginning the the goal is to set up the instrument to sing with a foundational good vocal technique that allows you to build your instrument up to the level that you desire so 45 minutes a day is what i recommend now realistically people don't like to practice in some for a lot of people it takes sometimes years to develop a routine i'm going to be also totally honest here if you never practice you come to let's say you, you take a weekly lesson or you have a singing program or you go to a group but you do something regular you are gonna get better if you do it once a week it's gonna be super slow though so best case scenario you want to practice at least three times a week. So you have your lesson and then you have two other sessions in between in separate days. The reason for this is that the, the muscles have about like 72 hours of memory. So if you only practice once a week, when you come back, your body is going to have forgotten a lot of things and you're going to have to like retrain it every week. You're going to progress, but it's going to be very slow, especially if you are interested in getting really good at singing and you want to get really good at singing fast, then that's the best shortcut I can give you, practice at least three times a week in separate days. I promise you're going to get results very, very quickly. That's the other thing. So a lot of times beginners just come to me, they say, how long does it take to sing beautifully with lessons? But they are not willing to practice. Well, it's going to take a while. <laughs> so I would recommend get those things in place first. You need to clarify what your goals are, what singing beautifully means to you and you have to identify a daily routine that you can use for training your singing finally the third question i always get asked in the first lesson of a person can anyone learn to sing yes and no i've heard that some people is tone deaf because of, of something that happens in the brain the issues cannot identify pitch i have never come across someone that is actually tone deaf i have come across people that yes cannot sing in tune and we have fixed that and there are many ways that you can do it every pitch is a vibration it's a frequency and if you can match that frequency with your body then you can sing the note and i have seen that many many times i do believe anyone can learn to sing everyone can improve their range as well everybody's voice system is different but we all have a vocalis muscle the muscle that is inside the vocal cords that most use in your chest voice or mass dominant register and we also all have a ct muscle that is the muscle that stretches your vocal cords and makes you go higher without tension so when you learn to sing, when you train singing, we work on the flexibility of those two pitch muscles and that's how you increase your range. That is something anyone can do. But for some people, let's say if you have never used that CT muscle, for you it's going to be harder because you're going to have to work a lot on awakening the muscle. But you can, it's possible. This is also a tricky question because it's not only can anyone sing, but also what do you mean by that? Can anyone sing like Whitney Houston? Probably not, or maybe yes, but what does it take? That is the other thing. So I think that is also a question that we need to shape. Can anyone learn singing? Yes, but to what extent is what we need to talk about. I personally believe that most people can learn to sing at a very high level. That is a potential. If you, for example, are a person that only has 10 minutes a day to practice, it's 
unrealistic to think that you are going to become Whitney Houston in one year. Everybody can learn to sing on pitch and on rhythm, developing that part of your brain is a part of the brain that processes pitch and rhythm. And if you haven't had any training before in your life, it can be hard to train, but it is trainable. I've seen it many times and you can also increase your range. That is something we all can do. Once you define what singing beautifully means to you, then we can talk more about what it would take to get there. The answer is the answer that no one likes. It depends. It depends on what? On you. So you have the power, you have the control. Go for it. All right, that is what I wanted to tell you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, the video, go ahead and subscribe. I'm always posting honest singing content like this. See you next video.